Hello, my name is Ami Shamir. I'm a cameraman located in Israel, in Jerusalem. I was very lucky uh, when Lars uh, came to Israel to film a movie. Uh, his friend and cameraman, director uh, Ule, broke his hand and they needed a cameraman to replace him. And we got together and they chose me. And I was so lucky. During the production, we met many people in many very interesting places. The highlight of the trip was in the cave in Kumeran. What happened in the cave is that uh, we went there to perform a ceremony. I didn't know what the ceremony is going to be like. I've never been to this cave and I was quite stripped from my gear. Since we had to climb our way to the cave, I had a little camera I knew very little about, not all the gear I'm used to, and we, have, we had the setup of the cave. We got there, and when Lara started the ceremony, something happened. Something that I felt and then I saw. As Lars was uh, performing the ceremony, singing, after a few minutes, the light started to perform, to communicate with us, with Lars. I wasn't sure that I'm seeing this or imagining this, so I tried to explore that as much as I can with the camera. The timing when Lars finished the song and the sun appeared from the corner of the pier and spread its light in the cave, the timing was so perfect and the show that came and the energy and, and, and what happened in the cave, this was an epiphany. I didn't know that at the time. I was very excited. Uh, I was high for months from what happened to me in the cave. When Lars sent me a link to the movie and I saw it, then I realized this was an epiphany and we were very lucky not only to be there and to experience it, but actually that now we can deliver and show it to the world, how it looks and how it feels. As an audience watching this moment, not as a cameraman who needs to make a living and he needs to perform, he needs to act, but watching this, it was very clear to me that we were there for a reason. We were in the right place, in the right time, on the right track. And the message is that since we came to the cave following Lars' dream and passion to spread light, and it was the light that was communicating with us so loudly and clearly, then the message is simply spread the light, continue spreading the light.